Hello class. Welcome to another video. Today we will learn about a simple concept using a few examples. Well, what is the concept? Many a times you come across a big task which seems hard to you. For example, you are given too many 1 rupee coins and you are asked to count all of them. Or you are given too much of homework and you have to do it all in one day. These tasks seem hard at first, but it really helps if you can break them down into smaller and easier problems. For example, you are given 10 questions to solve as homework. In this case, you can start by doing three problems after you reach home. Take a break, do three more problems, take a break again, and then complete the remaining four problems. Solving three problems at a time is much easier than doing 10 in one go. This is a concept that we will try to understand today using examples. Here is the first example. Can you spot the odd letter out? As you can see, there are many letter S in the picture, but there is an odd letter other than S too. Well friends, it does seem hard at first to spot this in one go. So our big problem here is to spot the odd letter out of a big picture. What if we can divide this problem into smaller tasks? What if we divide the content of the picture and try to spot the odd letter in each part? Let's try that. Remember friends, a big problem is easy if divided into small parts. And here is the picture divided into three parts. Let's try spotting the odd letter out in one part at a time. Let's start with part one. Can you find the odd letter here? Take your time. No, it seems all letters are the same. Let's move on to part two. Here is the second part. Can you find the odd letter here? Nah, everything looks the same. Let's try part three. This is part three. Can you find the odd letter here? Hey, there it is. It's a 5. 5 looks a lot like S. Hence, we couldn't find it easily. You see, we divided a big problem into smaller problems which were easy to solve. We divided the entire picture into three parts. You may divide it into more if you like. Let's try another problem. This involves drawing. This is an exciting problem. Can you draw Mr. Mouse? I know he's cute. Does it seem complicated to you? It surely does. What if we can draw Mr. Mouse in small steps? Small but simple steps. What will you draw first? Eyes, tail, legs or his body? Let's start drawing bigger things and then the smaller ones. Remember, our big problem is to draw Mr. Mouse, but we can split this problem into smaller and easier problems by drawing one part at a time. I would encourage you to take a pencil and a page and try drawing with me. Pause the video if you like to. Let's do this one step at a time. 
Step number one, draw a round like this. Step number two, draw two ears to the round. Step number three, draw a round near the stomach and two feet. This round is similar to the round that we drew before. And the two feet are quite easy. Step number four, draw two tiny hands and a tail. As you can see, the hands are quite small for our small Mr. Mouse and the tail is long. Now this is the final step. Draw its ears, two small eyes and a mouth. As you can see, these are its ears. Two small eyes and a mouth. Well, Mr. Mouse does look complete and we can also color him with gray and pink. He does look nice, right? Hooray! We completed drawing Mr. Mouse. Congratulations again. You can try drawing Mr. Mouse again if you like. Did drawing Mr. Mouse seem hard to you at first? Yes, he did look complicated. But after we drew smaller and easier parts in order, Mr. Mouse was easy to draw. How to draw Mr. Mouse? Let's look at it again. First, draw a big round. Then, draw two small half circles as ears on the top. Step number three, draw a small round for Mr. Mouse's stomach. Step number four, draw two tiny hands and legs and a long tail. Step number five, draw two tiny eyes, nose and two tiny teeth. And finally, you can color Mr. Mouse with your favorite colors as you like. So friends, what did we learn today? We learned that it's easy to solve big and hard problems by splitting them into smaller and known tasks. We under understood this problem using two examples. In the first example, we divided a bigger puzzle into smaller puzzles, which were easy to solve. Thus, we found our odd man out and five in a group of S. In the second example, we drew Mr. Mouse. Drawing him seemed hard at first, but we started drawing him step by step and in the end our Mr. Mouse was ready. I hope you understood this concept and would try it in your daily lives. That's it for today. I hope to see you in the next lesson.